title of this writing is Write the Ship. Even though I wrote this almost 15 years ago, this ship is still in troubled waters. It went like this. I was having my bathroom tiled about a year ago at this time, and the man who did the job was truly a craftsman and truly miserable. I remember his work from many years before, but I had forgotten how steeped in misery he was on a personal level. After having him in my home for a couple of days, the grasshopper had these two things to say. One, your misery will continue if you would rather be right than get right. And two, being right gets in the way of getting right. This man lives in the conceptual world of right and wrong. You may have already guessed that in this drama, he plays the part of right. As I listened to his stories, they were swollen with how this one was wrong and that person was wrong and by and large, what idiots always showed up in his life. Reminds me of a story. It was about a man who is moving to a new area and decides to ask a local farmer what the people in the area are like. The farmer says, what are the people like in the area where you're from? And the guy said, well, they're kind of honest, hardworking family folks, wonderful neighbors. The farmer said, that's exactly the kind of folks you're going to find here. Not but a few minutes later, another guy drives up and asks the same question. The farmer again asked, what are the people like in the area where you currently live? And this man said, oh, they're dishonest, backbiting people who are out for themselves. And the farmer replied, well, for the most part, that's exactly the kind of people you're going to find here. Getting right is recognizing that you are the cause of your wrong. When someone writes the ship, they're guiding it to an upright position and steering it out of harm's way towards advantageous sailing conditions. Making someone wrong is best left for court cases. When you make someone wrong, you always have the accent on the wrong syllable. Out there. Something out there is wrong and causes me to be miserable. The longer you keep accentuating external conditions, the longer you're going to sail on the rails. The quicker you take responsibility for your own state of mind, the sooner you're going to right that ship. It's amazing that we never notice that making someone wrong never brings us peace, just continued misery. People want to justify their rightness, and when it becomes a way of life, it seems everything goes wrong. You can spend your entire life trying to convince people that you're right, but as the grasshopper said a long time ago, some people would rather be right than happy, and preferring to be right, they are left out. If you've truly been wronged, please address it. If you simply have to always be right, you're going to be in for a lonely existence. Getting right is noticing how invested you are in the concept of being right and recognizing the misery that's attached. For many, always being right is a protection mechanism for the pain of being wrong. Someone who is always right, in my opinion, has been conditioned to feel wrong somewhere along the way. The pain of being wrong is so severe that they can't even entertain the idea, so they invest all their energy in being right. Don't give up your morals. Just give up being right. Being right is like being on drugs. It's addictive. Begin to wean yourself away by recognizing your need to be right. Just by noticing this pattern of behavior, you begin to bring your boat to an even keel and set sail towards serenity. All the best, John.